Greetings, my friend, and welcome to your weekly wisdom card draw from Running Your World, the companion card deck to my book, Running the World, Marathon Memoirs from the Seven Continents. These card draws are an opportunity for you to pause, to come into the present moment, to reflect on where you are, and to recommit to, or commit, just in, for the, in the first place, to shining your light in the world. Whether you've done that consciously or unconsciously, you are here to shine your light. And it is my intention to help you do that and to really come into a greater awareness of who you really are and who you're here to be. Who you're here to be is the gift that you're giving the world. So with that, I do invite you to come into the present moment. Take a pause in whatever you're doing right now. Go ahead and close your eyes if that feels good. And just start to notice your breathing. Noticing your breath as it enters your body. Noticing it as it leaves your body. Something we tend to take for granted. The breath. So just being aware of that. Just being aware that you're alive in this world today. And as you continue to just experience your breath and your being, I'm going to bring these cards up to my heart and ask for the inspiration to share the message that you most need to hear today. A message that will serve you in the highest way possible. And a message that will inspire you to take one small step, no matter how small, closer to being who you really are. And with that intention out there, I'm just going to give the cards a little shuffle. Go ahead and just keep breathing, keep being, just practice noticing whatever is inside of you, whatever is around you. And we have, oh, one of my favorites. <laughs> this card is Resource, and it's a little penguin chick with its wings resting on blocks of ice. So this is from Antarctica. And uh, this, this photo always makes me laugh because when I was running marathons, after a really long training run or the marathon itself, I would take an ice bath. I would actually fill the bathtub with ice and sit in it. And whenever I look at this picture, I see this penguin with its wings on the ice. I think it might be icing its wings after a long, hard swim. So drop a comment below if you agree or if you think it might be doing something else. Whatever whatever it is, I love to hear the stories of what you think the little penguin chick is doing. But in any case, this card is called Resource. As a penguin chick might ice its wings after a long swim, what helps you resource yourself? Whether you're resting your body after an intense workout or resting your soul after an intense, intense stretch of work, restoring your resources is a key step. Skipping it leads to exhaustion and burnout. Honoring it means you'll approach your next phase of intensity with renewed energy and expanded capacity. Do you know this yet still resist? We tend to believe that self-care isn't real work. It's the first thing to fall off the list when we have too much to do. It should be the last. It doesn't have to be time-consuming. It can even feel active, as long as it's restorative. Maybe it's a shift in pace, perspective, or focus. You have time to resource. You don't have time not to. Hmm... Let that one settle in. Resource. Uh, so many different directions I will go with this or want to go with this. Always a good reminder for me. One thing I want to note is the way that I wrote it is with that pause, that hyphen, resource. And I did that intentionally. Resource. We talk about resources all the time, resource management, resource, what are our energetic resources, our financial resources, our relationship resources. There's resources around us flowing in and out and around us all the time. 
But well, there's a very specific thing about resourcing. It's, it's really reconnecting to our source, the source of who we are. That is actually what resources are, but we don't tend to think about that, right? So it's, we are source, we are sourced from source, and sometimes we forget that, or we have just been on a long bout of, whether it's physical activity or mental, emotional, spiritual activity, there is a period of rest that comes after a period of work. We are designed to go in cycles of activity and rest and activity and rest. And in our fast paced world, we tend to just do the activity part and never go back to the, to the recovery part. So we do really want to take breaks to resource ourselves so that we do come back stronger. I use this analogy all the time. When we, when we go to the gym, if you're working out at the gym, you know that you don't just stand there and do bicep curls for, you know, 24 hours. You don't just do them over and over and over again. You do a few, you do a few sets, and then you actually wait a few days before you go back and do that same muscle group again. So we know how to how to rotate muscle groups at the gym when we're doing lifting weights. And we do that purposefully because in the resting period is when those muscles grow back stronger. So we're actually kind of breaking them down during the exercise itself, but they build back stronger when we rest and recover. So that tends to be pretty obvious with our physical bodies uh, and, and like weightlifting and, and all these kind of things. But we don't really think about that when it's our mental energy or our spiritual or emotional, social, emotional energy. And we just plow right through. We basically do the equivalent of standing there for 24 hours doing bicep curls until we literally break ourselves. So it's really important to remember that all that we are doing and all this activity that we're pursuing, the growth that is going to happen from that, the growth and our expansion that happens from all of that won't happen unless we give ourselves some time, some time to integrate. Whether that does look like just lying down on your back for a few minutes or going and standing out in the grass with your, maybe with your bare feet on the ground. I'm a huge fan of obviously being barefoot, uh, but even if you're just standing outside absorbing some sunlight or going on a walk in the woods, or if you live in the city where it's hard to find some nature, maybe you find like the one little square patch of grass somewhere and just go stand in it. Or even, they say even looking at pictures of nature uh, produces a calming effect on the nervous system. So there's lots of ways you can get creative about resourcing yourself. Even in the midst of a busy day, in the midst of a busy life, in the midst of the chaos of the world, you have the power to come back to center, to reconnect to the source of who you are and create a pause for yourself and create a period of rest that will help everything that you have learned to this point in your life through everything that you have been and done and experienced it will allow all of that to emerge as a brilliant, bright, beautiful part of what you're here to share with the world. So remember the little penguin icing its wings. You can be the little penguin. Take some time today to pause and ask yourself, what would really help me feel resourced today? resourced and full of resources. Mm. Let's go ahead and take another breath together and close your eyes again. If that feels good, breathing in, breathing out. I wish you a wonderful week. I wish you some moments to pause and resource. And remember, you, you, you have time to pause and you don't have time not to. Not to induce any pressure. Just pause and let yourself be. Thank you. I'll see you next week.